Where is it? Marty, have you seen the vacuum cleaner? Yes, I've seen that it's put to good use. Look at that lawn. So clean you could eat off it. In fact, what time's dinner? You're using my vacuum cleaner on the lawn? You didn't complain when I used the lawnmower in the bathroom. Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Just come in before you break it. Break it? I could run this thing with my eyes closed and my tail crossed and bananas tied behind my... <laughs> I think it's clogged. That's crazy! I just emptied it five trees ago! Huh. Good gimbo! If my calculations are correct... What happened? Gerard, I can't fight it any longer! You and I are going to be Supreme Court judges! We're what? I... oh... I guess that explains the bump. Just think of it. Robes, hammers, powdered wigs. Gerard, we're going to law school. You know, judges have to be very smart and able to make wise decisions. Are you sure this is for you? Absolutely. And as my first decree, I declare you my official judicial study buddy. Wonderful. Welcome to Legal Studies 101. All rise. Class is now in session. The beefy Mr. Goodsaw presiding. That's honorable. Order. Order. Speak out of turn again, and we'll have ye thrown out. Thrown out? I'm the teacher. Bailiff, escort this ruffian out until he learns some manners. Where did the bailiff come from? This is a classroom. I brought him from home. I thought I'd never have a chance to use him. Whoa! Judge Water Fountain presiding. Hmm, interesting theory. I love this new teacher. Um, Marty, I'm not sure he's actually saying. Quiet! We're missing the bit about the case history. Now, the three branches of government are executive, legislative, and. Tacos! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What are tacos? No! Bad! Anyone else? Uh, that's not fair! My buzzer's broken! Marty, that's your pen. Hmm, I was wondering why it leaked so much. Okay then, I'll take famous judges and spin the wheel for 200 bambolis. This is not a game show! We're not spinning the wheel? Ah, we're going straight to the lightning round. No wheel! No show! This is a classroom! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. So we're cancelling the lightning round? Now, when the next lawyer asks questions, that's called a cross-examination. Oh, these are easy. Where was I on the night of the 15th? Nine! Nine! You do not ask yourself! All right. Where were you? Well, I was having a lovely bubble bath. Suddenly, there was a mysterious knock at the door, and... Wait a minute! Aha! A confession you were at the scene. I've heard enough. Bailiff, escort him out. Nine! I knew it was a mistake to get him a bailiff for Christmas. Your Honors, next up are Mr. Always Right and Mr. Remorse, who stand accused of supplying inferior soccer ball leather to the Booga Booga Soccer League. It's outrageous! That no account hound dog, the nerve, hauled me up here like I was a common three-legged cross-eyed coon hound. Mr. Ways Right, selling inferior leather to a national organization is a very serious offense. Where do you get your leather from? My leather comes from cattle bred in the northern hills. The roughest, toughest leather making its conditions anywheres. I'd like to see one of these cows, sir, if you don't mind. See one? I'm innocent, I tells you. And if you're looking to be smirch my good name, I'll just see you in court. Uh, you are in court, sir. I know it all, eh? Nobody's here to be smirch your name or anything else. But we need to see that cow. Mm, well, all right. Bring in Petunia. Now, sir, can you prove this cow is legitimate? Prove? What's Petunia look like, a monkey? Hey, he's saying I look like... Uh, 
Well, we do have the same chin. Marty, we're not sure it's a cow yet. Continue, Mr. Ways, right? Oh, fine. Petunia, how many fingers is Daddy holding up? She's got my lips, too. There. Petunia may not be too bright, but she's a cow if there ever was one. Thank you, Mr. Wayswright. I'm convinced. Do you have anything else to say? You're a-wasting your time examinating me. I ain't no Weasley water snake like Mr. Morse. He's got guilt on him like ugly on an ape. Hey! That's enough. Mr. Morse, approach the bench, please. Mr. Morse, where do you get your cows? Yana, uh, my cows come from the deep south. They're a little different, but every bit is tough. I'll prove it. Bring in, Mildred. That doesn't look like much of a cow, sir. Well, <laughs> not to you big city judges, but uh, that's just the way they grow down south. Could I hear him talk, please? Talk? Um, uh, he's got a nasty case of laryngitis. Uh, not to mention the bovine jitters and, uh, sportswearitis. Good gimbal. I had that once. Nothing to do but let it run its course. Sorry, Mr. Morse. We need him to try. Go ahead. Well, all right. Mildred, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Mr. Morse. Let the record show your cow just oinked. And why is his nose so flat? Um, bad eyesight and lots of trays. Mr. Morse, it is the opinion of this court that your cow is a pig. And not a natural brunette. Therefore, this court finds you guilty. I told you, that two-bit pig peddling bamboozler. Throw the book at him, judge. Yada's, you're right. Mildred's a pig, and those horns aren't real. They're paper mache. My son made them in art class. Hmm. Superb craftsmanship. I was a rotten cheat, Your Honors. I got greedy, and I know I deserve to be punished. But, but let me say to the court, I am really sorry. I'll pay everyone back, and all I can ask for is the forgiveness of everyone I've hurt. I've heard enough. My head hurts. I'm calling a repress. You mean recess? Uh, yeah, one of those. Difficult day, boys? I'll say. Who knew practicing law would be so hard? We're stuck on a case. Mr. Morse is guilty, but he agreed to pay everyone back. Yeah, and he was sorry. I really think he's learned his lesson. Oh, and the other fellow? Ha! You mean Mr. Bragtastic? He didn't do anything wrong. But he's a braggart and a loudmouth. And a snook. I think he just wants to see Mr. Morris get punished, because he thinks he's better than him. Well, you're the judges, boys, and the decision is yours. If you think punishing Mr. Morse further will serve justice best, then that's what you have to do. Marty, I think we know what to do. I suppose, but I'm not so sure a kangaroo would want to wear a sombrero. <laughs> Now, after much deliberation, my associate and I have come to a decision. Ha! You're in for it now, you miserable no good Nick. Give it to him, Judge. What is it? Life? Hard labor? Fed to the crocodiles? Gentlemen, please approach the bench. Mr. Wayswright, you are a loudmouthed and boastful ruffian. Why, I never! But you're free to go. Mr. Morse, despite your crime, I find your confession an attitude of humility acceptable to this court. And while you need to pay back everyone you've wronged, we are granting you a full pardon. You are free to go. What? You mean it, Your Honors? I can go? Yes, you and Mildred. And be sure you look after that sportswearitis. Will do, Judge. Thank you. Thank you. I'll never forget this. But that's outrageous. It's a miscarriage of justice. It's an abomination. That rascal ought to be behind bars for the next... You know, it's not that tough being a judge after all. All you need is smarts, wisdom, a little maturity. Next case. 
Mr. Goodsaw versus Marty Monkey. Charges are public humiliation and injuries sustained by improper use of a drinking fountain. <laughs> All right, that.